Rick, I believe uh, some of the models say that you had 13 high danger chances tonight on 20 shots. Frustrated or disappointed not to score more and, and generate more with the looks that you have? Yeah, we had, yeah, some execution. You know, yeah, you got to score. You know, obviously the power play wasn't good tonight either. That kind of, but I really loved our first. Um, that was, uh, I thought we should have came out with something and we didn't. Uh, but, you know, the one nothing, obviously, the unfortunate penalty. And it's kind of, uh, you know, they, they were option, opportunistic in the third. Did you think about challenging the 1-1 one, one goal? Look like Archers might have been pushed a little bit. Yeah, it's a 50. It's if if it's uh, we're down 2-1 to one maybe, but it's a 50-50 uh, at that point. We just looked at it. I don't know what the NHL would do on that one. I don't. So if I don't know 100%, you know, it's 1-1. One, one. You know, we thought about it, but I thought it was 50-50, personally. Looked like the Patterson line wanted to get physical early on in this game. What did you think about how they played tonight? Yeah, they're fine. Rick, uh, game one, your power play goes over two, you win. Game two, you you go over four, you lose. Game three, two for three, you win. Game four, over two tonight, over two, two for 13 in the series. JT said it's costing you games. Would this series be over if you guys had been converting more often on, on this power play? Yeah, of course. I mean, the execution wasn't good. You know, we, you know, we got to make a play under pressure, and I, and sometimes there's you just take, take what's given. I don't know what we were doing. We we're throwing the puck in the middle. If we just chipped it to the, a guy a couple of times, we would have got possession. But yeah, that's what it, it's learning lessons in playoffs, man. Under pressure, you got to be able to make those plays. What did you say to the guys afterwards? Obviously, JT was very disappointed. You could see the disappointment in the locker room. What do you say? And how quickly did you try to get rid of that emotion? Yeah, I don't go in very often. I go in about 20. I didn't go in after tonight's game. Rick, just we, have, your... we have two days off. I'll talk to them more. Oh, you're good. Just some thoughts on what you saw tonight from Arthur's Silas. Yeah, I thought he played really well. You know, he's uh, the moment's not too big for him. You know, he was solid in that. You know, we uh, had the one nothing league for him. I wish we'd have you know made it two. Might have you know put the game over, but uh, yeah. I thought he was excellent. When you look at that first period, I'm, I'm sure you see so, sort of the almost like a signature performance from your team in terms of what <coughs> hockey's looked like all year. Where did the game turn specifically in your view in the second? Well, we just got sloppy. You know, we iced the puck a couple times when we should just like sometimes we just try for the, you know, we, we try face off play where, you know, we hit a skate, they almost get a break. It seems like in the second we're trying for something that's there that's not there. Like we just got to manage the game. And um, this year, sometimes it bites us in the butt when we do that. Um, and then you got to bear down or in the net. You know, I think we had a lot of shot attempts. We were trying to hit the back door a lot and we were missing that a lot. Um, you got to, you know, we either you got to reposition yourself or you got to start sh just shooting puck on the net. And then hopefully there's a rebound. Keep the pucks low too. I think we're shooting the pucks too high in uh, Soros' glove. Um, at one point in the third period, it looked like we were talking about the Nikita Zadorov story. Um, but what can you say about his game tonight? Yeah, I mean, uh, <coughs> hell of a goal. I think he's played well every game. You know, he, he's got a lot of passion. You know, you can tell he's played playoff games before, and he wants to be a difference maker. Do you, do you think the third line found its way, like, last game almost, you know, Lindholm getting the goal? Like, tonight they really seemed like they were influencing things when they were on the ice. Yeah, they're just uh, they're a puck possession line. You know, uh, they, they they keep pucks. You know, I think um, they had a couple opportunities there. But, uh, yeah, it's a good line for us. Uh, before the series started, there was a lot of talk about the experience on Nashville, that they've got O'Reilly, a Conn Smythe Trophy winner, a couple Stanley Cup winners, that kind of thing. Do you think that that relative experience difference between the Canucks and the Predators was part of – how we ended up here tonight? Well, I think you get experience every game. Um, but I think there's some moments there in the third where you just got to dig in. Even on that second goal, we had three or four opportunities to either box out or win an edge battle in the off, uh, off the draw. Or, you know, it was a weak side rim, get that puck before the ice. You got to dig in. There's just sometimes you just might have to get a punch in the mouth just to get a puck out. I think we that's our next thing. You got you got to be I just felt there's three or four mistakes on that shift before the goal. They didn't think we digged in hard enough on that and they ended up scoring the goal. Uh, you know, already couldn't see the puck. 
You guys were looking for that high tip play quite a bit. Have you sort of made the adjustment to the, the fronting that they were showing early in the series? The high and the low, yeah, but we, we missed a couple. We were ripping them. We were ripping them by. Um, I don't know if it was the, the tipper or the, the shooter was shooting it too hard. I, I'm not sure, but we had a couple opportunities. If we hit, if we hit it, I think there's a, a backdoor play, but we, were, we weren't hitting it. It's just not executing. And Nikita mentioned uh, he didn't love the the call on Joshua there in the third. What did you think of that call? Yeah, I got to see it. You know, I don't know. Did he turn into it? I don't know. That, those are, for me, I, I can't figure those out anymore because I know part of strategy, some guys, they turn at the last moment, but that's that's a distraction of the ref. I mean, I, have, I haven't really looked at it enough to, to really comment on it. A lot of the talk inside this market and outside this market about this series has been about Elias Pettersson and his quiet series. It mm -hmm. felt like he had a stronger game tonight. Do you feel like his game is right there, just about to break through? Yeah, I hope so, yeah. I thought he was better tonight, too. I agree with you. Yeah. What is it that he was doing tonight that made a difference compared to the previous games in the series? Well, I think a couple of times, I, I think there's opportunities where he moved his feet. I think that helped him. You know, he, had that, he actually had that, was that two-on-one? He had a good shot on net. Um, he, he moved his feet right from, the, right from center ice. I think that allowed him to get that chance.